world of Blast Family, this is Matthew West. I, I know I look a little bit different. I shaved my beard off, so yeah, you're probably looking at me like, who is this guy? No, I promise you it's me. Uh, just put that all the facial hair, okay? While everybody else is growing beards, I did the opposite. I shaved mine off. So today we're here to do a special Easter edition of Blast. But before we begin, let's go ahead and bow our heads and let's pray, please. Dear Heavenly Father, as we celebrate the day of resurrection, we would like to thank you for your sacrifice to us. We ask that you watch over each and every one of us during these unusual times and pray for the recovery of those who are sick. We ask that you give us guidance and patience. We thank you for the miracles you have worked, and most importantly, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to slow down, spend quality time with our families, and realize there are much more important things in life than just having to be on the go on all the time. Lord, we thank you so much for everything you've done. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is a very special day. Today is the day we talk about God's best gift to us. The Bible tells us that Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus came to the world to show us God's love and to save us from the punishment we deserve because of the sins that we do. The Bible says in Philippians 2, verses 6 through 8, that Christ himself was like God in everything. But he did not think that being equal with God was something to be used for his own benefit. But he gave up his place with God and made himself nothing. He was born to be a man and became like a servant. And when he was living as a man, he humbled himself and was fully obedient to God. Even when that caused his own death upon the cross. Remember, Jesus died to rescue us from our sins. But Jesus didn't stay dead. On the third day after Jesus died, he came back to life. He is alive. The word we use for Jesus' coming back to life is resurrection. And that's what we celebrate today. We celebrate Christ's resurrection. Jesus came back to life over 2,000 years ago, and he is still alive today. Take a moment, why do you think Jesus died for us? Maybe because he loves us? He did it so our sins can be forgiven. Think of some other reasons why Jesus died for us on the cross. Now, my question to you is, how is Jesus' death and resurrection a good gift from God to us? Well, it's a good gift because it means we can go to heaven. It's good because we don't have to pay for our sins. Jesus took all of our sins in his death. One reason Jesus died for us is because he loves us very much. Jesus died so that we could be forgiven for our sins and live with God in heaven forever. Jesus died for us and then he came back to life to prove that he has power over death. When we say that Jesus rose from the dead, we mean he came back to life. There's a very old saying about Jesus' resurrection that I like to teach you. When you hear me say, he is risen, you say, he is risen indeed. You ready to try this? Let's go. He is risen. He is risen. Come on, let's do it one, one time. Wake up the whole neighborhood if they're not awake yet. Ready? He is risen. Yes, Jesus is risen indeed, and it's wonderful news. When we get news as good as the news of Jesus' resurrection, we want everyone to know about it. Because of Jesus, we have Jesus' promise to help us no matter what we're facing. And we have the promise of heaven. Why is Jesus' resurrection such great news? Why do people need to know about Jesus' resurrection? Think about that. Well, for one... Jesus can help them live with him forever. They need to know that they don't have to pay for their sins. That Jesus died for us. Jesus came back to life and he took the punishment for our sins and for the sins of everyone in the world. We want to praise God for doing something so wonderful and the Bible tells us that someday the whole world will praise God and say that Jesus is Lord. God is worthy of praise from the whole earth. 
and Jesus is worthy of being most important in our lives. Praising God is so much fun. God, you sent your son to the world to live a perfect life and to die for our sins. Then he came back to life on the third day, and he is still alive today. Thank you, God, for Jesus. Thank you for your plan of salvation. And thank you for the resurrection. And in Jesus' name, amen. So I found this wonderful video called The Gospel Project for Kids, and it gives an excellent story uh, of the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So I'm really hoping that this works out and uh, you'll be able to watch it here on, on, on this live stream. After Jesus was arrested, he was led to the high priest. The religious leaders were trying to find a reason to kill Jesus, but they could not. The high priest asked, are you the Messiah, the son of God? Jesus replied, yes, that's right. The high priest said, he has spoken against God. He deserves to die. The religious leaders refused to believe that Jesus was God's son. In the morning, the religious leaders led Jesus to Pilate, the governor. Are you the king of the Jews? Pilate asked. Yes, that's right, Jesus replied. What should I do with Jesus? Pilate asked the crowd. Crucify him, they answered. Pilate did not think Jesus had done anything wrong, but he handed Jesus over and said, do whatever you want. The governor's soldiers put a scarlet robe on Jesus. They made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Then they mocked him. Here is the king of the Jews. They beat Jesus and led him away to be killed. The soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. They put a sign above his head that said, this is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Two criminals were crucified next to him. Darkness covered the land. Jesus cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus shouted again and then he died. Suddenly, the curtain in the temple sanctuary split in two from top to bottom and there was an earthquake. One of the men guarding Jesus' body said, this man really was God's son. Jesus was buried in a tomb. A stone was sealed in front of the tomb so that no one could steal Jesus' body. On the third day, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. An angel of the Lord rolled back the stone and sat on it. The guards were so afraid that they fainted. The angel spoke to the woman, don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus. He is not here. He has risen just like he said he would. The women left the tomb quickly. They ran to tell the disciples the good news. Just then Jesus greeted them. The women worshiped him. Don't be afraid, Jesus told them. Tell my followers to go to Galilee. They will see me there. Jesus appeared to Peter and then to the other disciples. Jesus also appeared to more than 500 people who followed him. Many people witnessed that Jesus is alive. Jesus' death and resurrection is the center of the gospel. In Adam, we were spiritually dead in sin, but Jesus died to pay for our sins. Jesus is alive. God gives new life to everyone who trusts in Jesus. Now that you watched the video, I'm going to ask you a few questions. What did you learn about Jesus' death and resurrection? Well, I know I learned that Jesus was buried in a tomb and some people thought Jesus' body was stolen, but we know that wasn't true. Why was Jesus' resurrection a good thing? I'll let you think about that for a minute. Well, for one, Jesus came back to life and he proved he had power over death. And then coming back to life, Prove that Jesus is God and that Jesus can show us the way to God. Jesus' death and resurrection are the most important parts of our Christian faith. We need to do all we can to remember how important Jesus' death and resurrection are 
and thank God for them. As we wrap up this blast session, we're going to have a responsive prayer. I'm going to call out several things that are possible because of Jesus' resurrection. After each one, and when you hear me say, because, I want you to respond by saying, Jesus is risen. Ready? This will be our closing prayer, so be sure to be thanking God in your hearts and minds during this activity. Dear God, we know that we can be full of joy because. Dear God, we know that we can have hope because. Dear God, we know that we can have victory over death because. Dear God, we know that we can find forgiveness for our sins because. Dear God, we know that we can live in heaven with you forever because. Dear God, for all these things we praise in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we go forth and do great things in this world, remember, it was the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ that makes this world so special and that makes us, as Christ followers, special as well. So as you go forward, take the joy of Jesus Christ and pass it to others. Thank you and enjoy your day.